Hey guys, what is up? I know I haven't uh, done videos in such a long time, and I don't know, I might get into it, I might get into why I haven't, and I might not, but um, really, me and D.O.K. Halo have just been uh, playing, playing Minecraft, like, a lot. Um, this is like our fourth world we did, um, and we're still kind of in the progress of it, his little room. He likes to pressure plate everything. It annoys me. And that's my room. But really what I figured I'd show you guys today are just some uh, basic concepts and basic principles of um, 1.8. As well as just other things I've neglected to show you. First off, melon farming. And um, this is inefficient, believe it or not. Even with the amount of... Hold on. Hum, num, 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 num. I gotta do this for a little bit. I'll explain melons suck in a minute but this melon farm like I said is very very inefficient and this is because melons don't grow multiple ways at once like um, it'd be nice if they did but they don't so the most efficient thing for me to do would just be to knock out this entire row right here and just like leave it so then I have uh, two four five block space growing um two no Yeah, 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 I was right. I want to knock out um, this row right here, actually. Um, because, yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to move these over here. And then I want this row open and this row open. And then put this row where it, exactly where it's at. And then just knock everything else out. Because the melons from this row will grow right here. And the melons from that row will grow right here. And that's the best way, to really, to grow melons that I've seen. Uh, next, uh, whoa, piston automated farm. Um, you could invert the signal if you really want to, if you don't want this lit up all the time. But let me show you what's happening. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know how redstone works, but pistons are. They're, they're kind of finicky about how they get their power, but if you power the block directly above them by running redstone across it, they enjoy that. They'll work. So I just did that over here and put water one space like above where the piston arm would be. And now i got to get back down there. Okay. And now what happens is um, after the water comes down, it hits this, branches off in three directions like I taught you guys, and it pushes this way. Um, because this is the only hole, so this is where it goes. Um, yeah. Then I have a door here to make sure my house doesn't get flooded. But, I mean, relatively, it's really nice. I don't feel safe walking around with flint and steel in such a wooden contraption. And it's just a handy way to, um get all your uh, wheat. Wish you make an automatic planner though. I would pay. What was I going to say? Um, oh yes. Why well, I haven't been doing my videos. My computer. Uh, I don't want to say crash. It was um, a mistake on my part. I tried to install a Linux operating system. If anybody knows what that is. Um, I did it slightly wrong. Even though I've done it like a hundred times. I just wasn't paying attention. I messed up. Um, and accidentally reformatted um, a lot of my hard drive, like that contained a lot of programs, including Fraps. So I haven't been doing videos until I decided to re-download it and re-register it. And uh, yeah, but this is really our place. Oh, we've been using Netherrack to its optimal efficiency as of recent. Yeah, a little Nether room to grow animals, which isn't really working, and I know it's probably because it's too small, but whatever. Go farm your animals, animal farmer person. Um, fence gates. Such a nice added feature. I love notch. Um, this is... Who... Whose house is... There's two people... Oh, my friend Brett. Yeah, I have another guy um, playing on this server. Um, he's just a friend as well. Uh, but... I guess he decided to make a house, which is weird. Um, 
I told him that he could live in this massive tower. But I guess he didn't want to. Um, I am playing 1.8 because it's stable-ish. And as you can see, I'm getting my criticals. Um, criticals always happen if you're falling, so yeah, it's not bad. This is so his house, because he's the only one that does the in-ground crafting table. Ow! Yeah. I also use sprinting, because this is just a lot of fun. Hit! Okay. Now, what are the concepts that I want to run over with you people? Um... Yeah, this is our little chess system. If you, um, if you go up um, another block, so not three blocks, four, you could put another chest right there. Or, hmm, I gotta, I wanna. There was a glitch that let you um, open chests even if there were. Um, wooden blocks above it. Oh, not wooden blocks. Glass box. I'm sorry. I cannot talk whenever I'm Ugh. trying to... Sure, that goes there. Whenever I'm trying to figure something out and trying to remember where I heard it from. And Okay, let's see. Still works. So actually, I could just... um I could replace the top floor with um glass in those little areas. And then that would enable me to put another chest like right here. Just like put glass at these blocks and then put another chest right there. Then that would give me like a lot of chest capacity if you guys haven't noticed. There'd be like four chests in a two, four, five, six square area. Four double chests in the six square area. Not to mention if I went back, then it'd be like five chests in a um, six square by two area. Yeah, so it's. That's a pretty efficient um, way that I figured out um, just kind of needing to get a lot of space. Um, what else? Almost all food stacks to 64. Um, don't ask me why. Uh, I guess he just decided it was high time to uh, do it. But in actuality, it's probably because it's hunger and you have to carry around a lot of food. But... Yes. I know what you're thinking. When have you ever used lace furnaces? Well, we haven't. We've only been able to actually use them all simultaneously as like two rows. But needless to say, it made me look a lot more productive than I am, didn't it? Um, that is another portal. And since I'm playing 1.8, I don't have uh, any of the new content like um, gas tears, gold nuggets, herpa derpa derp stuff. Oh god. I better um. Uh, I'll head this way. I'll show you guys something else. Um, this is really our mine. <laughs> it's a little bit more. I think you always need a sword though, because if you ever go down here without one, you just get eaten alive. Like no joke. Uh, woman, I don't want to know if you found a tick in your bra. That is disgusting. Ugh. Thank God that's not the girl I'm interested in. That's disgusting. No, she's like bragging about it. She's like, I would have taken my bra. But no. Um, this little cobblestone pass for us to find our way back, which is uh, really, really sad. Um, I did not explore this one part, so I'm going to go try to find something that I've never explored in my life. D.O.K. Halo did cool. it, and he said I had to go check it out, and I figured I would do it uh, with you guys. And I think he said it was this way. I'm going all off of... Never mind. <laughs> uh, herp a derp a derp a derp, derp a derp. Uh, I believe this is the way. Maybe. Oh, oh God. Let's keep this out. Let's keep this handy, Brosif. Okay, so he didn't go that way. So I'm just gonna kind of follow the torches. Oh, right here's where it was. I'm a ravine underground. Which are, like, the coolest ah, things. I didn't see that one. I saw him. Ah! Ah! Ow! All that's blocking works as well. It takes, um, like, half a heart now instead of, um, the whole heart. 
and like it deals you a little bit of knockback. So I mean, all in all, blocking is uh, worth it for skeletons at least. I haven't tried it with a creeper explosion. I wouldn't recommend it. It also seems to occasionally um, deflect the arrow, which is um, pretty awesome. Herp derp derp. What was he trying to get at here? I don't. I don't even. Again, I didn't explore this. Herp 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 herp. What's so special about this? It's just a big underground ravine. Maybe that's what he wanted me to see. Just the underground ravine. Who knows? He's weird like that. Um. Also, um, me and Brett and Doug took a tally here, and uh, if you can hopefully prove you're not certifiably insane, um, we we're thinking about maybe having a couple people, maybe, join the server. I don't know. We might actually pick friends from our school to have a couple more people join up, and um, play for a couple weeks and um, maybe days and see how much internet usage I could have. Oh, another thing. Self-fixing world holes, I guess this is like his solution to it. Because as soon as you get close to it, it fixes. I don't know. Personally, I think that's pretty friggin' awesome. Uh, out of the water. Um, but yeah. We might just have um, some people from our school help test um, like the bandwidth limits of um, my house. Which I know are like pretty low, but the only thing that's really limiting me is my upload speed, which um, on a good day is like 2.5 to 3 megabits. My downs are normally like 15s to 20s. Um, I, I want to call my internet service provider, but I mean, there's nothing I'm really going to solve because they're douches. Well, not really. I don't want to say that. Watch them revoke my internet now. Um. Walkie, walkie, oh god, I'm fucking lost. Yeah, I'm the only one on the server right now, and I'm still hosting it, uh, so. I think this is the way I came. What else did I want to share with you guys? Um, oh, you can hit tab now in servers to see, um, all who's online. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Son of a bitch! Um, what else? Iron, definitely, definitely more common. Um, so, I mean, that's good if you, like, play industrial craft or all that, which um, none of the mods are getting updated nearly as fast as I'd like them to be. Uh, I currently have given up on my mod project until I learn how to update it to 1.8. I'm currently seeking some advice about it right now, but... I would not expect it to happen anytime soon, and I am deeply sorry. Um, I know no one's going to be dedicated enough to that mod to just keep playing 1.7.3 for it, because I don't expect anybody to be. It was just supposed to kind of add to vanilla Minecraft, but I don't expect you guys to be all that loyal to it. It wasn't the most amazing mod, I'm going to be honest, but I mean, like, I did like the features it did, and it did achieve what I wanted it to do. Um, which is kind of just get it out there that I know kind of roughly what I'm doing and that I can make them. But if I can figure out how to convert it to 1.8, I will keep coding it. Um, I promise. Oh god, that'll be a bitch though because I lost all my coding files. Nah, you guys are important enough. I'll do it, I swear. Uh, I don't want to, but I'll do it, I promise. Oh, that's convenient. That's a nice little Harrowbrine trap there. Oh, oh, right. Um, has anybody, um, anybody noticed that, uh, he removed Herobrine again, again, in 1.81, or 1.8? Um, we have a lot of speculation about that going on, uh, at my school, between Minecraft legions. No, just a couple, like, 20, 30 kids. Um, that, uh, he put Herobrine back in the game. Uh, my personal feelings is uh, he didn't remove him the first time, and uh, now he had to remove him again. Although I am, I'm kind of between that idea and the fact that he might have put Herobrine back in, or they just keep saying removed him, removed him, removed him, to make you feel like he's like an actual living entity. But I don't really know. Mm. What else happened this time? 
He's, he pressure plates everything. Um. My little um household. <laughs> um. I I'm not really gonna cover um update things. Um, there's a billion videos out there about like what what is new and all the updates, and I I'm I'm getting tired of covering them, so I'm just not gonna do them because I don't really want to steal views and then things like that. Well, I know this wasn't. I don't believe there's any water there. Oh. Okay. Well, I know this wasn't really informative as you guys would like it, but it uh, is a video to start me getting back on making videos. I still have to download the compilation software to make this Fraps video like uploadable size because it's probably like 16 gigs right now. Like I don't even know why it does that. Um, ooh, got a little nervous there. My voice broke a little bit. Oh, and that hasn't happened to me in a while. Um, oh, and to get seeds from your melons, you just put them in your crafting square, and you get the melon seeds. Oh, and I would highly recommend growing the stem with bone meal. You can't insta grow melons with it though. Like you just kind of have to grow the stem and wait. But you don't have to wait that long. Trust me, I'm honest. Um, so pretty much what I'll do is um, play around a little bit more with Minecraft, uh, see what else I can turn up, see what else I can educate you guys people. Ah! Someone just invited me to become friends on YouTube! Oh, I don't even know who it is. Um, yeah, I have Google Talk, so like, it, messages just pop up. I don't know, his name is Sony something. Um... I'm not sure if you guys really know. I don't normally accept friend requests. Um, unless there's some kind of reason I should. If you guys are like, well, I review your videos a lot. You should probably add me as a friend so I can help you like further your videos. And then I sometimes might, but no one's ever said that yet, so be the first. Um, or stuff like that. Like, really, the only person I really know, I haven't. Well, I haven't accepted a couple people. And don't take it personally. It's just the fact that I um, want. Well, I guess it's not lack of wanting. It's just kind of lack of... I don't really know you, <laughs> I guess. Uh, that's not quite summing it up. I just don't really feel the need to have, like, a bunch of YouTube friends. Uh, yeah. Don't take it personally. I just... I just... I'm, I'm socially awkward. I'm gonna go in my house, sit in my corner, and I'll see you guys next time. What is it at F F nine F F ten F oh F nine.